Get ready to fall into lesbians, I mean, fall into love with your perfect match. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today, we're going to be going over the top five dating sites for lesbians. Before we dive into the list though, you should definitely check out our free online dating app quiz. This quiz is free, it's fun, it's easy. It'll pair you with your perfect online dating app. And I'm really curious to see if the results that you get on this quiz are actually gonna be mentioned in this video. So go take the quiz, get your results, then come on back and comment below what you got. I'd really love to know. And while you're at it, make sure to check out our deals page because we here at Online for Love are always getting all sorts of different deals for different dating sites and dating apps and why spend more money if you don't have to. So click the link in the description to our deals page. Let's get started with number one on our list, which is Pink Cupid. Pink Cupid is a very large lesbian dating site. It has over 30,000 new members every month and over 350,000 monthly logins. You can kind of find any type of relationship that you're looking for on the site because members are looking for a wide variety of things, something like a hookup to casual dating to long-term relationships to marriage. People are looking for a lot of different things on the site, so hopefully you can be able to find what you're looking for. The site has over a million users from around the world, and of those users, 315,000 of them are Americans. The most popular age range for those on Pink Cupid is late 20s to early 30s. Only 13% of the members on the site are young adults between the ages of 18 to 24. There's no age limit on the site, so about 8% of the users on Pink Cupid are seniors. As far as ease of use goes, the layout of this site is very, very simple and easy to navigate. Creating an account is simple as well, but it does take some time. There are several forms to fill out. Some are just basic information like your name, age, etc., but some um, get more detailed about your hobbies and your interests. Three photos can be uploaded and you will need to upload an ID to get verified. Because the profiles are so detailed and thanks to the lengthy sign-up process, there's actually less catfishes and fake profiles on the site. Pinkubit does offer all of the standard features of most dating apps and sites at this time, but let's talk about some of the special features that they offer. One of them is called tags. Essentially, this feature is just hashtags you can add to your profile that really highlight your interests. Maybe you could hashtag dog mom or something like that. Another feature they offer is actually a photo competition. So if you don't want to pay for a membership, you could actually get a chance at winning one by uploading your best photo and once a month, a winner is chosen. Before we move on to the second site on this list, I just want to ask you to please like the video if you're enjoying it and hit subscribe. So so it really helps us out when you thumbs up our videos because it shows YouTube that people are enjoying our content. So then YouTube pushes our content out for more people to see. So we'd really appreciate your thumbs up and subscriptions. So number two on this list is Lesbian Personals. So what's interesting about this site is though it is mostly women, 20% of the users on this site are actually men. And that's because some of the users are actually couples who are looking to swing. The biggest percentage of the users on this site are in their mid-20s, however, there are younger users from 18 to 24 and seniors on the site as well. Lesbian Personals is available all over the world, and 250,000 of the members come from the USA. New Zealand and Canada also have a significant number of users on the site. Let's talk about the sign-up process. So, what also is different about this site is you cannot actually link your social media accounts to get started with your sign-up process. You'll have to start from scratch and provide your email. The good news is that even though you'll have to input your information manually, the sign-up process actually isn't long at all. It should only take you a couple of minutes. Once all your forms are filled out and your About Me section is written, you'll get an email looking to activate your account. Most of the information on profiles are kept private unless you upgrade to a membership. So let's look at some of Lesbian Personal special features. So one of their features is account linking. So you cannot link to your social media accounts, but you can link to a different dating profile on a different site. Lesbian Personals has a sister network, which is Friend Finder. So by linking these two profiles, you up your chances of finding success. The second feature they offer is called Live Action, which is basically access to different live cams and live shows. They also have a community feature, which has blogs, games, and contests. Make sure once again to like and subscribe. Now let's move on to number three on our list, which is Her. So Her has only women on the site. It's all dedicated to lesbian, bisexual, or transgender women. There's no specific target age group, but it's mostly popular among women who are in their younger or mid 20s. Only about 9% of the users are 55 plus, and mostly those users are looking for friendship. Most of the people on this site come from the US at over a million users. Unlike the last site we reviewed, Her can only be 
created through your social media accounts. That makes the entire sign up process super quick because it automatically uploads some of the photos you already have on your other social media and some of your basic information will already be present. A downside to this is because all of your info is automatically pulled from your social media, a lot of people ignore sort of fleshing out their profiles, so a lot of the profiles on the site are not very detailed, and they usually don't have many photos either. The overall design of the app is really great. It's simple but sleek, and it really appeals to the younger generation. Let's talk about some of Her's special features, the first of which is Meet, which is essentially a section of the site which is basically Tinder swiping. The second feature they offer is called Feed, which you can think of as sort of like the feed that you had, would have on your homepage on Facebook. So you can see people's posts and photos and you can comment on them and it's sort of like a little social media section of the site. They also have an events feature which shows a lot of different events that people on the site are going to. These are things like parties, festivals, or concerts in your area. Before we move on to the next site though, I just want to remind you to check out our deals page because if you're going to sign up to any of these sites and become a member or any dating site at all out there, might as well save some money and we're always getting all sorts of different deals. So make sure to click the link in the description to our online for love deals page to possibly save some dough. So number four on our list is called Scissor, and even though the name might suggest otherwise, this is actually a serious long-term dating site for lesbians who are looking for something real and possibly even marriage. It's really not a casual dating or hookup site. There are thousands of users, and the goal for this is to provide a safe place for lesbians to meet each other. So this is only an app. There's no desktop version of this site, but the app is very intuitive and simple and easy to use. The sign-up process is very simple and easy as well. It should actually only take you no more than about 15 minutes. So you'll input some of your basic information and then you'll have to answer a questionnaire about your habits, your hobbies, your interests, your preferences. And um, you know, the more information you write about yourself, the better chances you have of finding success. So I would um, take your time with this section. When all your forms are filled out, you'll complete your profile and begin using the site. Now let's talk about some of its special features, first of which is chat. So this is sort of self-explanatory, it's just the way to message people on this site, although they do offer some pre-written pickup lines so you don't have to think of everything on your own. They also offer a video and audio call capability. And before we talk about number five on our list, make sure to like and subscribe if you're liking the video so far. Now let's move on to number five on our list, which is Les Park. So the target audience of this site are lesbians and bisexual women who are looking for either hookups or long-term relationships. It all depends on the individual. The website has over 10 million members, of which only 10,000 are Americans. It's quite popular outside of the US, especially in China and throughout Europe. The highest percentage of users on this site are in their early 20s. As far as the ease of use, it has a very straightforward design and the app is similar to the site. However, there have been a lot of bugs reported on the app, so you might be better off using the desktop version. It also takes up a lot of memory space on your phone. The sign up process is pretty basic and similar to other sites that we've already reviewed. So you can either um, connect to your social media accounts, which will speed up the sign up process, or you'll have to input everything manually. For the manual registration, you'll have to state your role, your emotional status, and choose a nickname. All users have to choose a few interests because the algorithm depends on you doing that. And once your profile is created, you can start using the site. Now let's go over some of its special features. The first of which is Lover's Park. This feature is used for sharing love stories with other members on the site. They also offer live streaming as a second feature, and their third is Scam, which is really interesting because each member gets a unique QR code, which you can share among other members if you'd like. But that concludes our list of the top lesbian dating sites. If you're not satisfied with all the ones I've provided here or you want to just see what else is out there, you should definitely check out our free online dating app quiz. The link for that's popping up above me and it's in the description below. It'll pair you with your perfect online dating site. And while you're at it, also check out our deals page because we here at Island for Love are always getting all sorts of different deals for different dating sites and dating apps. So why spend more money if you don't have to? Link to that is above and in the description as well. Also, make sure to check out our other videos from here at Online for Love. They're popping up 
on either side of me and i'm really curious what do you think of these options we've provided today have you ever tried them or would you or do you have a better or different suggestion for um, those who are lesbians looking to date leave your comments below we love to hear from you but thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did like it leave a like and subscribe if you loved it and hopefully we'll see you here again at online for love thanks bye